Here is the first episode of Steeple Chasers. Um, we uh, the plan is to go around and just kind of introduce uh, the outside world to some of these beautiful churches. Um, we have a lot of old churches here in the cities. Uh, it'd be really cool just to kind of get an exploration, and it's a lot of fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's the goal with it all to you know provide some sort of traditional understanding of what all these churches uh, believe, uh, what we believe, and to just you know kind of be goons while doing it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> So we plan on doing these, you know, a couple of times um, a month, hopefully. Um, as you see, uh, currently right now, we will be uh, doing my door montage here. Oh, yeah, lots of fails. And lots of fails. I swear, I'm going to kill someone. Ten bucks says all these doors are locked, but I have hope. You know, sometimes these places can shock you. This one was St. Ambrose. Beautiful pillars there. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Cross. Mm -hmm. Typical. Oh uh, this boy, this is a Ukrainian Orthodox, or Catholic Church, not Orthodox, shout out to Rodikowski there. The front gate was open. Well, at this yeah. point, we're thinking, all right, we're in. Yeah. A little prayer. <laughs> Depression. I don't know why he thinks the side rooms would be open. <laughs> Just try it, try it, have faith. Try it, try it, brother, try it. Point, Christian's egging me on. <laughs> thinking that I'd be really funny to go try again. Hey, there's a side door over there. Yes. What? <laughs> Zach, this isn't a church. I said fudge there just for clarifications. <laughs> uh, we got St. Maron's, Maronite Catholic Church. It's the one we got into. Uh, just quick background on the Maronites. Uh, they were founded by St. Maron in the 4th century. He was a Syriac monk. Um, they are in full communion with Rome and one of the few without Orthodox counterparts. St. Maron, pray for us. Yeah, uh, there's a location in uh, Minneapolis. They're located by other Catholic churches, uh, believe it or not. A couple of Ukrainian and another Latin. Um, kind of surprised at where it was located. Yeah, there's a, like one block of just four or five different denominations. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, they are originally out of Lebanon, um, currently under a lot of uh, persecution. Um, their famous sy symbols are the Lebanon cedars. Um, which appear 83 times in the Bible, and they appear a lot in the Psalms. And that's one of Mary's titles, actually. It is. Yeah, we found that out. On. That was really cool. Hey, Mary. Information on the Maronites. This is the only Eastern Catholic rite that doesn't have an Orthodox counterpart. That's right. The only. A little history on them. And they're in the East, in Lebanon, and Iraq, and stuff like that. Um, when the Muslims came... Uh, they took them over, and they were they had to flee to the mountains. With the Maronites, what happened was after being secluded in the mountains for about four or five hundred years or so, um, eventually the Crusades happened, and when the Crusaders got all the way to the Middle East. The statue of Saint Maron right there. Uh, again, he's just a Syriac monk in the fourth century. Saint Maron, pray for us again. They got, found these group of people up in the mountains, and they were just about to slaughter them. When uh, a priest came out and asked, in perfect Latin, mind you, after 600 years, 
Who's the Pope? I mean, if that doesn't scream papal authority right there in the early church, I don't know what that is. Right here. That's right. That's right. That's right. Bam! That's right. So this is the main chapel. Um, as you can see, it's set up just like a Latin rite church, basically. Um, beautiful mosaic. Very beautiful mosaics there. They did take a lot of things from the Latins just to prove that they were Latin rite Catholics um, to the bishops. Uh, the dome, I was a little upset that it wasn't painted, um, but you know. This yeah. is brand new as of 99. They have um, the Bible okay. under an old dome here. Yeah, that's the gospel. Um, the altar facing the people is also a Latin, um, Latin edition, also using a crucifix uh, and a tabernacle off to the side. That is a gorgeous tabernacle, by the way. Nice little Last Supper. Uh, bar relief, if you will. Yeah, That's yeah. Art, if you know what that is. Their altar cross, altar crucifix, was actually fr backwards. I mean, both ways, not backwards. It was uh, had a crucifix front and back. This is uh, Bishop Charbel Maroon. Uh, he went to uh, the Maronite Seminary in Washington, D.C. Um, he has been a pastor at this parish for... 26 years, I believe. 26 years is what he said, um, yes. So his position is a core bishop, which is something akin to the Latin rite um, auxiliary bishop. Yes. He is the authority over all of um, the Midwestern United States for the Maronites. And on all that would high, and it goes from right to left. Wow. I am the bread of life. This here is the uh, old altar, actually. Um, Originally built when this church was originally built. I don't know what it was. Um, and I believe it's facing the west. It's facing the west, which is the wrong way. Um, it's supposed to be facing east, uh, as the bishop told us. Uh, you can see the original painting there. Um, there is no tabernacle in here anymore. Um, you'll see the Stations of the Cross there, uh, which are um, also Latinized. They're original Stations of the Cross, though. So. Uh, I said, Lord, just get us into a church. Let's go, pipe man. Let's go. We got to meet the Maronite Bishop. Dude, I remember it. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. Oh, oh, what now? What now? Ah, oh. This is St. Mary's Basilica in downtown Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, a really beautiful church. I've never been inside it before, which is why I kind of wanted to go see it. Gothic, kind of. As we continued to try and open another church, um, the one to say EP, it's really all I wanted to do, and it was locked. Desperately. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so, yeah, I guess in one of these episodes, uh, we will be inside that church, giving you the full layout of what we think, and maybe a little bit more information also. Uh, we'll also be doing the Cathedral of St. Paul. Um... And more episodes to come. I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's a lot of fun. Get hyped.